Okay, this is an example of um, data, but it is different from the data that's provided for your dry lab. Okay, so you just make sure you're not copying these numbers, but here's an example of how we can do our density calculations. Uh, important thing here is we need to make sure to look out for our um, sig figs. So um, let's take a look at our data here. So our sample data here, we have mass of aluminum bar and a steel sphere. This will be used later on in part C. So let's take a look at part B. We have the volumes here measured using a ruler, and rulers here will give you two decimal places in centimeters, okay? So to get the volume here, all you take is these three values multiplied together. So if you were to take 7.55 centimeters times 2.52 centimeters, centimeters times 0.62 centimeters, we would get a unit of centimeters cubed, okay? Now put this in our calculator, um, we will get 7.55 times 2.52 times 0.62. So you'll get a really long number. It's 11.79612. However, how many sig figs do we end up keeping? Three sig figs times three sig figs times two sig figs will give you two sig figs to keep. That means we'll stop at the second number, okay? If we were to keep 11.79612, that would be way too many sig figs. So all you do is keep two of them. So because it's 11.79, we're gonna round it up. It's gonna be 12 centimeters cubed, okay? So sig figs are very important here. Now, the next part to get the volume of the seal sphere, you take um, the final minus the initial. So basically, it's 16.0 minus 15.0. When you subtract, um, we will be looking at decimal places. So 16.0 minus 15.0. Um, our units will end up being milliliters. One decimal place minus one decimal place. You keep one decimal place. So 16 minus 15, you get one. So our answer for volume here is 1.0. So remember, when you're adding and subtracting, you are looking at decimal places, okay? Let's keep moving now. We're gonna to try to do uh, density. So density is gonna be mass or volume, which is why earlier we had data for mass over here. So we'll take this mass divided by this volume, okay? For the steel sphere, we'll take this mass divided by this volume. Okay, so for aluminum here, all I really need is then 33.087 grams divided by 12 centimeters. Now, I have five sig figs here and I have two sig figs here. I will need to keep only two sig figs in my answer. So 33.087 divided by 12. I get 2.75725. It's a really long number. Right, so I'll write it out. 2.75725 grams per centimeters cubed. However, I only need two sig figs. So I'm gonna keep the answer as 2.8 grams centimeters cubed. Hopefully this helps, okay? Same thing with the steel sphere. We're gonna take 8.352 grams because that was given as part of your data. Again, uh, this is a reminder, do not use these numbers. You have a separate set of numbers under the Excel file for uh, dry lab data, okay? Um, 8.352 um, divided by 1.0. We'll get 0. Okay. Obviously, it's the same number. Now, I have four sig figs and two sig figs. I will only be keeping two. So my answer here is gonna be 8.4 grams per mil. Okay, now let's go to the part D here. For part D here is the sample data. Um, they give you the empty flask, okay? The empty flask weighs 36 grams. And then you have flask and water. When you put five mils, the water and flask weighs this much. When you put 10 mils in the water and the flask weighs this much. So remember, when they ask you to calculate mass of just water, make sure you take this number 
and you subtract that number out with the empty glass so you get the true volume mass of just the water alone and then take the mass of the water divided by the volume of the water okay so i'm going to try to work the math on the side over here since i'm only on the space so for trial one mass of water so i'll write down trial one um, mass of water would actually be 41.519 minus 36.602. Okay, I'm going to put this in my calculator. 41.519, take a look at my calculator. 41.519 minus um, 36, 30, oh, did I type 36 already? 0.602. So I get 4.917 grams. And the volume uh, measured from the burette was um, 5.00 mils. Burette will always give two decimal places. Okay, so grams per mils will give you the density. So you take 4.917 grams divided by 5.00 mils. You get your density, so divide this by 5. 0 0.9834 grams per mil. However, take a look at this. You only have three sig figs here. You're limited, so your answer in this trial is going to be just three sig figs. Now, if you take a look at trial 2, the volume is 10 mils here. So I'm going to do the calculation right below it here, okay? So for trial two, we'll take 46.452 minus the empty flask, which is 36.602. So let me try doing that. 46.452 minus 36.602, okay? And we'll get an answer of 9.85. Now, even though the two and the two subtract off your calculations is 9.85, you need to make sure you're keeping three decimal places because both answers, uh, both numbers are three decimal places, therefore your answer should be kept at three decimal places. So my mass of water for trial two is actually 9.850 grams. Okay, so calculators sometimes don't really know how to keep sig figs. You just need to be able to remember uh, when we subtract, we will keep decimal places here. So 9.850 grams, and then we will divide by the volume that's over here, which is this time it's 10 mils. Now take a look at this time. This time both of them are four sig figs. You will be able to keep all four. So 9.850 divided by 10, you will get 0.985 grams per mils. So that would be the density um, for trial two. And obviously um, in your data sheet, you'll have more values. You'll have five of them. You'll do them over and over. Don't forget to subtract out the mass of the empty air and wire. Um, that's it. Hope this helps.